And welcome back to the Terminators, the Butcher Squad, and of course the Cheesy Squad. Now, of course, the patch fixed the problems with the supply cost. I think the supply cost is much better balanced right now, and to be honest, I think the game is a lot more enjoyable with the recent changes overall, but I cannot take advantage of them. So as you can see, this is my current supply cost, 81,000 per day. So for the reminder of the game, which is about three missions, when I'll be moving, I'll be switching the game to a lower difficulty, and I'd recommend you do this as well after Oklahoma if you're having supply problems. Now, I get it, you don't... The developers didn't want the player to have 10 tanks and 10 Bradleys. Okay, that's understandable. But at the same time, because I I played the game almost perfectly until the point where I got to Fort Worth and I almost stopped playing, I'll just use this to re regain the lost supplies before the patch. So again, this is not cheating, this is not making the game easier. This is just me getting my supplies back that I should, uh, that I should have gotten since I was playing the game on hard from the beginning and the developers patched it. That being said, let me show you the difference between hard and realistic, 81,000. So the difference between hard and realistic is minimal in my opinion. Yeah, you do take a lot of damage, but damage is not important. It's only important if your vehicle gets destroyed, if your soldiers die, or if your, uh, let's say your gun gets disabled or your uh, wheels get disabled and something like that. So damage is a bit of a RNG problem in this game, because if you get hit in the armor with... 100 damage, you don't take any damage, right? Right. If you get hit in a, let's say in the gun with 100 damage, it will get destroyed. If you get hit with 50 damage, it will get damaged only. But it can also get destroyed as well. So damage is a bit of a weird variable in this game, so I don't know what to say about it. So let's just put this over here on normal, because we'll be traveling over here to Midland in a bit. Now, as for the rewards, I think I think it's better that you also see the whole dialogue and everything else. You, you can understand what's going on because this is actually the most interesting part of the story for the game. And sadly, I'll not skip it. We received a message from movement forces. The movement well, some of them. Too? How did that happen? I've been keeping them updated on what we're doing, sir. Yeah. Figured so it never he's hurts to have some other friendlies to give us backup. A civilian yeah, friendly. Intel to civilians. Isn't that against Founder Reg, Sergeant? Guess I've been hanging about too much with a troublemaker, sir. It was good thinking, Mason. There's a lot of good people in the movement. Meaning they ain't so many in the Founders? Yeah, exactly. Lieutenant Church, good to see you in one piece, son. This is supposed to be Thank kind of like the president of America now, data. to be honest. Now let's see what the techs have managed to pull from it. We've done a first pass through it, and already found disturbing intel about Legion conducting experiments on its prisoners. What kind of experiments? Psychological tests, observational studies. It wants to know about us, sir. About how we think and behave. And it was doing these experiments at the base where Lieutenant Church liberated those prisoners? Yes, sir. And at other sites. Although the main one seems to be at the Mount Taylor landfill. We know why they were doing these psych experiments? We do. And here comes the disturbing part. Legion is developing its next gen of troop models. One line of research is infiltrator cyborgs designed to pass for human and infiltrate survivor groups. Pass for human? How? Oh. Psychologically, by being programmed with the data collected from these tests so that they behave like us. Physically, by being covered in living tissue so that they look, smell, and feel human. Living tissue? Those skin bodies we found in Oklahoma. Oh God, wait. You said that was just one line of research? To create a different kind of cyborg. One that is basically organic, but augmented by technology. Faster and stronger than normal humans, and totally controllable. These research programs, where are they and how far along are they? They're both nearing final completion, sir. And they're both at a Legion facility in Galveston. That's all I need to know. We need to get in there and get that augmented soldier tech for our own people. Legion knows we have this data now. It'll probably have foreseen this move. So it could destroy the facility rather than let us get the augmentation tech. It could, but both these programs have been significant resource burns. Legion has too much invested in these programs to want to lose or abandon them so late in the day. My best guess is that it will now try and accelerate them to completion and defend the Galveston facility to the max. So us now having this information has maybe just increased the odds against us. I need to think about this. Dismiss, Lieutenant. I'll let you know when I've reached a decision. Okay, so what they're talking about here is the Terminator movies. The infiltrator cyborg, of course, is the usual Terminator. 
no Arnold Schwarzenegger T-800 and that's supposed to be the strong robot with the living tissue on top of it that's supposed well I guess it's still a cyborg more or less because it has organic components to it that's supposed to be very durable very strong and also very deadly to humans and it can pass for human as well and fool even some of the security systems the resistance had now as for the other one which is uh, an organic but enhanced by cybernetics well and totally controllable i think they mean the fourth terminator movie with uh, christian bell i think where you had that guy that was basically a terminator but he could pass for human and he had a heart and all of that nonsense so yeah he i'm not sure about the totally controllable part so again i'm not sure what they're talking about but i'm pretty sure is the t-800 and the other guy from the movie who had a, a terminator with a heart and still had augmentations i mean he was still practically a terminator he could fight a terminator more or less but he was very organic and would easily fool anyone but again you cannot make this stuff up i mean they have vastly different qualities i mean if you have someone like that it will pass for human what if he doesn't get any medical tests but as soon as he gets some medical tests he'll probably not pass for human anymore plus the weight and some of the other stuff will be vastly different also the physical characteristics will be vastly different but yeah so i think they mean those guys but still i don't know what would be the point of creating those at uh, a mass production i guess it will be much better infiltrator units that can basically destroy the resistance on their own otherwise they're just getting better off with the cyborg infiltrators so eh, i guess take everything with a grain of salt we'll learn more about this in a second now as for the rewards for the mission transport here and i can hold them up with some units or so so what's it gonna be extra vehicle you also see what upgrades they have but usually the upgrades they have is the same thing you can get from the integrator if you max the reputation out so that's why i recommend you max the reputation of the integrators give me more vehicles here's your vehicle bay authorization abrams, Bradley, i can give you uh, abrams, uh, abrams uh, yes sure does that's it they'll found the got it good to see you lieutenant pleased to report that major stevens has given a full report of what happened at haven and all charges against you have been dropped and Captain Blair? Went AWOL, as soon as he heard you'd rescued Stevens. Pursuit squad found his burned out Humvee, but no corpse. Chances are he ran into a wireheads patrol and was captured. No one deserves that. Not even Blair. Any word from Actual? You know what he wants to happen now? We've got intel about a vital Legion research facility at Galveston, and that most of the remaining Legion prisoners are at the Mount Taylor landfill. He's weighing up our options. Mount Taylor? We trace the Wireheads unit that probably captured Blair is coming from there. Maybe we should take a closer look at the place. To rescue Blair? Rescue him. And then bring him back for court-martial and punishment. You know how it works, Lieutenant. Yeah. Fail the Founders, and we don't forget it. Not sure what they mean by Mount Taylor. Uh, as you can see, you still have a lot of locations on the map that you have never, never visited, and I think this is a problem. The game was supposed to be an RTS game where you produce unit or you get reinforcements, but I think they ran out of time and just made it uh, kind of like an RPG RTS, but the enemy still gets their infinite reinforcements. Uh, this sounds like a very, very interesting location, doesn't it? Anyway, uh, I think Blair was supposed to be a cyborg infiltrator as well, and that's why he blamed us, and that's why he seems like he's helping the machines. It's up for debate. We'll probably learn more about this issue as we play more of the game, but he could have been a cyborg infiltrator. Uh, the Founders Campus, can see this is not a trading location. This will be a trading location. Hey, Troublemaker's back. Commander's waiting to see you. Sure feels good to be serving alongside a rock star like yourself, sir. What? Mason! Troublemaker! Am I glad to see you guys. Lucia, you made it out of Chihuahua? We thought everyone there was gone. Yeah. If anyone could survive a nuke strike, it'll be her. Always told you guys I had skills. I heard Mason's signal, was close enough, and figured I'd come see you. You got anything interesting going on? Interesting? <laughs> Wait till you hear about this. 30 minutes later. I like the 30 minutes later drop. At least it's not two hours later Great. with a French so voice. So which are you going to go for first? We don't know. Command's still deciding. And now that we're officially founders again, we have to wait for orders. You operating in this area now? Keeping an eye on those integrator freaks. 
now that the cartel are out of the picture. Sounds like bad news for the integrators. They're not Legion allies, like the cartel. But let's just say we're not big fans of them having slaves. Yeah. And the way they love using Legion tech is kind of worrying. Not Movement's really. going to war with the integrators? Not if nope. we can help it, when the real enemy is always Legion. But I might have found another way. Uh-oh. I've seen that look in her eyes before. See, I noticed that Legion... They want us to a, a sneaking mission. Integrator settlement. They just go right around it. Almost like they don't know it's there. Yeah. You know why? Because the integrators have got something that makes the whole place a giant blind spot for Legion scanners. A blind spot? Wait, that's exactly what we need to get with an attack range of the base at Galveston. Then let's help each other out. We get in there, steal their scanner jammer, and let Legion come and deal with the place when it suddenly appears on their screens. That isn't the only integrator settlement out there. They'll still survive. Yeah, but it's the central one, and the biggest. With it gone, they'll be nowhere near the threat that they are now. Works for me. Hold up, sir. We're founders again, remember? Can't just go with the plan of every crazy lady civilian we meet. We gotta mm. kick this up the chain of command exactly. and let them decide. Shit, Mason's right. But I've got direct access to actual now. Let me talk to him and get his okay on this. We'll do a bit of management. I'll do it. Uh, uh, some of it on camera, some of it off camera. Lieutenant, make yourself ready. Actual wants to see you immediately. What? Okay. On my way. That you, Church? Good. Thanks for coming. I've been thinking more about this Galveston facility. Oh, he's here yes, sir. with us it's physically now. Now that we know what Legion's doing there. All that experimental research, especially this new augmented human process, we must have it for ourselves. Exactly. We're not going to destroy it to prevent the enemy developing new kinds of cyborg troops? Of course we're going to destroy it. After we've taken what we need for ourselves. Now tell me what you've got. But them in two hours later. <laughs> A jamming device that can create major scanner blind spots? Amazing what even wasteland trash like these integrators can come up with. Yes, sir. So you're approving my plan to infiltrate their camp and acquire the jammer technology? By any means necessary, Lieutenant. As with Legion's augmented human tech, it's best the Founders possess this kind of advantage, rather than anyone else. Founders Fidelis, correct? Okay, so regarding the augmented cyborgs and so forth, what do they mean? Well, in the movie it was very weird because at the end of the movie, well, spoilers, the humanoid Terminator actually ends up giving his synthetic very, very strong heart to John Connor, which is weird to me because if the humans are smart enough, they would have copied the technology to create organs, limbs, and enhance the soldiers from the Terminator. So technically, in the official timeline, if the movies are canon, they, the Resistance should already have the ability to create organs, to clone organs and make them better, stronger, so thus creating much better humans. But also their limb replacement technology and also their armor, their under armor. Because in one of, I think in Terminator Dark Fate, I, for, I don't like the new movies, you have a girl, cyborg terminator, whatever she is, that has subdermal armor, so she has armor under the skin, so she's 100% human looking, well, almost, <laughs> and then she also has all of those qualities, so I guess that's what they're talking about, getting uh, implants for armor, I'm not sure if you can augment humans, you'd have to recreate them entirely, or just, you know, implant them with various technologies, basically like, making a Spartan or Space Marine, but a much, much, much lower scale. And this is the technology they're talking about, but it's weird because if you look at the lore of the movies versus the lore of the game versus the lore that is canon or not, probably other sources as well, as well, nothing makes sense to me. So I guess what they're trying to get is technology to enhance humans with armor, with uh, better organs and organ replacement, and of course, uh, probably the, to eliminate the need for food or other stuff. I don't think they can recreate the nuclear batteries that the term T-800 has. That would be dangerous. I don't imagine they will have an army of uh, Terminators in their base with nuclear reactors working in their chests. Plus, the Terminator T-800 T had two of them. And so that would, that would be very, very hard to replicate. So I guess what they're going for is only the enhanced human technology, augmented human technology in the game. 
And if they get it, they'll just probably have humanoid soldiers with uh, subdermal armor, no need to eat or drink, uh, and stuff like that. So, okay, give your th theories as well. But I think the developers made a few mistakes with the lore because they're not really sure what lore to copy and so on. So, yeah, I'm not sure what they're trying to do over here. We'll probably oh, find out. Oh, you again. How about I give you something for a change? What? Oh, yeah? Like what? Like my foot up. <laughs> Same old. 20 recruits or 40,000. Supplies. Never have enough supplies. You got them. So sorry about that. And also, I'm trying Without to. Permission? Yes. Carp wants to do whatever necessary with the integrators, as long as we come back with that jammer device intact. Your commander sure seems to love the idea of getting his hands on other people's tech stuff. Whatever it takes to get this war won. That include turning his own soldiers into cyborgs with this augmented human tech. How does that make him any different from the integrators or Legion? I'm it's telling up. you. He's just... Okay, okay. Let's drop this and focus on what we need from those integrator weirdos. I also think the game kind of has their own lore about the integrators, which would be happy to have that technology. And also, uh, integrators are not necessarily a bad thing. If you look at Warhammer 40k and the Priests of Mars or General the Mechanicus, they have slaves as well and a lot of other bad things as well, but... I don't know, it's kind of like a different side of humanity. You cannot say the integrators are 100% bad. Just a different side of humanity, and we'll probably have to deal with something like this in, our, in reality as well, in about 100 years, 200 years, maybe. We'll deal with them, because, how should I put it? People are so different and are so easy to influence that at some point, they'll just create something like that as well. Not in here, in, again, this is a tool that can be used for good or bad, or just to destroy humanity, or just to make it advance to the next level. You'll always need humans, so the way the integrators do things in this game doesn't make sense to me. Why have slaves? I'm sure there are many people who will willingly join the integrators and they can just make them work as slaves or let's say unpaid workers, yeah, unpaid helpers. And then they can just join the integrators with more and more upgrades as they go along. Like, um, you know, in other games as well. Or, for example, uh, what was it called? Hmm. I don't remember the name of the anime right now, but it's very, very popular. Ghost in the Shell and Ghost in the Shell, they had some, let's say, some episodes where they have workers that need to have a certain percentage of cybernetic enhancements in order to be able to work in a very, very dangerous and I think it was a radioactive mine or something like that. So they could just work them up with, you know, a little prosthetic replacement for a lost hand and then something to replace a lost organ and then maybe something to replace the eyes and stuff like that, and as they turn them more and more into integrators and cyborgs, they could use them for more and more dangerous tasks and also give them ranks in their... I don't know. You get the idea. They can do it like Ghost in the Shell plus the Mechanicus in Warhammer 40k. So it doesn't make sense that the developers actually make the integrators seem like they are the bad guys or the movement are the good guys and the founders are also the bad Everyone is the bad guy in this game and that's what I don't like about it. No one is the good guy. Not even the movement or the founders are the good guys, just think about what they have been doing. I mean, the movement seems okay at its core, but we did have to kill all of those cartel people and... Uh, you know, also the integrators, they want to destroy them. They won't, we'll never be able to destroy them fully, but still, again, the, the thing remains. So that's where the lore of the game stands, in my opinion, which is a bit of a weird mix and match, because it doesn't seem to stand anywhere in particular. Kind of leaves everything open for uh, interpretation and for reference, and the developers took lore from everywhere instead of just making something, take the original lore and then adapt it to the game and kind of improve it. So yeah, I think that's one of the problems of the game. They didn't improve on the lore, they're just merely trying to go along with the flow and not really commit to anything. Uh, what you would really need from here is another RPG squad. I really want to get another RPG squad with normal RPGs, since the other ones have less ammunition. Okay, so what did we get as a truck? So we got, as you can see, we have two paladins with their own crews, satire. They also give you the crew, which is great. And then we have another Abrams tank. So in my opinion, in this game, you should have three Abrams and three Bradleys. So we'll sell the Bradley. Well, not the upgraded one. Oh, wow, they're super expensive as well now. We'll keep the Abrams and also sell the heavy platform. Now you 
might say hey you'll need it maybe you'll again i'm not trying to cheat over here so i'll just sell it because normally i'll not be able to afford it probably we'll keep the two paladins the free abrams the free bradley's I don't think we'll need this one, we'll just have to sell it and we'll keep the armor personal carrier. It's super strong actually, but not as good as it could have been. Yeah, at this point it should mostly be energy weapons and that will destroy enemies in the next mission. Now as for this, as you can see it's already fueled up, so in you, you can just take the equipment and sell it. The problem is that this has actually a very good armor with the cartel armor, it can resist a lot of bullets and stuff, but you're not really be attacked by bullets anyway. And this is just basically like paper in the wind. So you, you don't have to worry as much about this one, but you have to worry a lot about that one. We'll also need... Be, actually, I might be keeping these supply trucks. Free hand supply truck and a supply truck as well. As for this, I'm not sure yet. It doesn't seem like I need a lot of fuel, but I might prefer to just keep this one, the small one. Since most of the things need so little fuel anyway, they will sell the supply truck. And as you can see, I might need to buy another Humvee, but the problem with the Humvees you get from here is that they're super, super weak. And the technicals, I will not even mention them. The technical and the vans are super weak, much weaker than it, they could be. Uh, yeah, and like I said, I'll have to buy another RPG squad. So I have way too many drivers. Doesn't matter. Also, let me buy all of the supplies we can and then I'll do all of this off camera. So, yeah, see you in a moment. Okay, so I'm done with all of the readjustments. It takes such a long time to do this. As you can see, I kept two of the elephants. They are great. I don't have an energy gun to give it, but it will be okay. Also, make sure your best crew is on the Bradleys and then your second best crew is on the Abrams. The Abrams, again, they're just here as a gun platform. They don't do as much. Fighting as the Bradleys. The Bradleys are your main fighters in the game against infantry, against armor, while the Abrams are mostly against armor. Except for Big Bob, which as you can see has a twin light plasma cannon just in case we need a little help with that. Uh, sadly, we're out of points. I also bought the light platforms and gave them the chain guns, the rotary cannons. I think I'm missing a lot of firepower and I'm missing a lot of light firepower, and there's no way you can get light firepower with anything else so this will be great defensive units or assault units and artillery will mostly be to defend certain locations with the toes so yeah put artillery with toes spare them they go very very well to defend areas once the artillery is deployed the toes can just patrol the area to kill the heavy tanks that come along otherwise you can just leave one of these guys as well over there I think I made a, I made a lot of mistakes throughout my playthrough, so yeah, you definitely should have kept more Humvees with the cartel armor and of course the acceleration, but uh, not much you can do about that right now. Also, remember to put junk armor on everything. Sadly, I kind of forgot, and as you can see, some of the Abrams. Yeah, it's again, it's a lot of management. I hope everyone will be okay with the management. Sorry about that. Three days of traveling. 60,000. So I'm. Well, I guess. You are a friend of the integrators. We need to talk to your commander. Yeah, trade. I am permitted to talk to you. We want a scanner jamming system, like the one you're using to hide this settlement from Legion patrols. Impossible. It is not available for trade. There must be something we could offer you in return. You have nothing of equal value to the object you want. If you wish to make any other trades with us, then you are welcome to remain here in the trading zone. See? Told you this was a waste of time. So let's see about that. Oh, I guess it will be double. Uh, it's not even double. It's not that bad. So we can definitely manage. This update was really, really needed. We'll have to keep it on hard for now. Because we'll be playing the mission on hard as well. Save over here. Wow, that was a lot of management. I cannot believe I'm playing for 40 minutes already. Yeah, the, we, I would have wished to buy a lot of other things as well. So remember you have some... You have enough equipment or upgrades to get another Bradley, but good luck getting the money for that. Also, yeah, I guess I can manage. So, junk armor, junk armor. Which one will get the APS? Well, I think the ceramic armor should get the APS. Since you still get a lot of goodies, sadly you cannot really use them, so... 
window shopping for the moment. Uh, again, the, it seems like the laser sniper rifles are not worth it because they cost so much. They should really look at the cost of the laser sniper rifles because you'll not be using them that much anyway. Besides, you'll get smashed. So look at all of the things over here. You can, I can also put a light plasma cannon on the light platforms, but to be honest, I just like the rotary more. Green light plasma. It's also worth looking at these things for upgrades, just in case you want to buy, let's say, a twin light plasma cannon for one of your tanks. So look uh, at them as well. Uh, rearm. Sorry, I'm saving so much. I will need a lot of backup saves for this stuff. Yes. We still want yes. the scanner jamming system. If you won't trade for it, is there anything else we could do for you? Interesting. One of you can meet with our Grand Console to discuss the terms under which we might be willing to give you this system. So, now they're willing to do a deal? I guess I'll go talk to this Grand Console. We really need that jamming system. We will blindfold you and put you in the back of a truck. You will not remove the blindfold. You will not try to leave the truck. You will be led to the Grand Console. You will answer his questions. You will not ask any questions of your own unless permitted. Is this all understood? Yes. Oh, I... I guess we don't get to answer that. Blindfolded. I am guiding you. We have arrived. We have arrived. <laughs> I can take off the blindfold now? You have not been granted permission to ask questions. Do not repeat your mistake. I am the Grand Consul. You have permission to talk. Thanks. You wanted to meet with me? You want something we have. The Jammer device. There is something we need in return. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. What do you need? You have heard of the Midlands Curse. Just wasteland ghost stories about some place where any patrols that go in don't come back out again. Every area's got stories about a place like that, I bet. The stories about Midland are true. It does exist. And any patrols the Integrators and others have sent there have never returned. Including Legion units. Not even radio signals are able to escape from it. So you want us to join all these missing patrols? Yes. <laughs> Enter Midland and investigate the calls for the disappearances and the communications blackout. If it is what we think it is, then retrieving it for us will be worth the loss of the Gemma system you want. So what are we looking for in there? Something that produces a constant digital storm across a broad range of frequencies. Probably some kind of high-powered transmitter. It will disable our technology and regions, but your more primitive vehicles will be unaffected. Once you find it, disable it, and my integrators will be able to retrieve it. Then we will give you the jammer system you want. That easy, huh? This meeting is over. You will leave now. You are blindfolded. Not again. I will guide you. You will be put in the back of a truck and returned to the trading zone. Remember, no questions. Will now be removed. I have provided you with the coordinates to the location we require you to investigate. This transaction is now over. Yeah, that was not so funny, right? <sighs> it lands so... Oh, let me save again. Now, the thing is, I'm not sure when the shops will change or if they will change at all, but we have to keep an eye on that as well, because over here we have two missions. What is the second okay. mission? Well, you ready for <sighs> only the integral. Okay, but I got a plan for getting in there and hijacking that thing. I think we can too risky sending you and your people in there. I think you can just uh, okay. So this is the decision part of the game. You can go to Midland or you can choose not to go to Midland and directly attack them. I think we can go to Midland and then attack them. Which might give us two extra missions. So at this point of the game, you can either do two missions, one mission, or... I don't know, I guess it's up to everyone what they decide. One, or two, both, depends. I'll try to do both, of course. Okay, but I gotta... It's too risky. Oh, I'm touched. Okay. It's too risky. Oh. I'm touched. So, let's not talk to her before we actually want to do that. I'm not sure if this will change anything, but you know... Eh. Why are you scared? I am to accompany you to Midland. Not ready yet. We will wait for you to be ready. So they give you a choice. As you, you cannot go directly to Midland. You will just have to wait until you go there. Now this will not cost you any supplies. Hopefully. And as you can see the game is on hard. So yeah, let's save the game over here. We did so much management. I cannot believe how much it was. Yeah, let's go. Very well, let's go over there. 
Oh wow. Uh, such an important part Edwin? of the game. This place really exists? Yeah, we thought it was some kind of ghost story. Skip that on our way here. We wanted it that way to keep people out. We integrators do not believe in ghosts. There is something here. A powerful force. Go into the city and gather sensor data for us. A lot of units are supposed to have gone missing in there. Let's leave the main force here and send in a recon party. Agreed. <laughs> By the way, can you see that in the future you'll still need vehicles with uh, internal combustion engine? Because if you have something technologically advanced like that, it can be jammed, it can be scanned, it can be detected. But if you just have a, a few Humvees or I don't know, a few trucks with diesel engines or any kind of fuel, with a few machine guns on top of them and with just humans commanding them, it's so much easier. They can do all of that stuff without being detected. So that's why. Even it will never be like in the movies with only very advanced technology, we'll still be able to use all of our technologies at the same time. Because if you lose one of these technologies, it will be super, super hard to bring it back and it's still very useful as you can see. Now initially I wanted to bring my artillery over here, but I think artillery is not that good in this situation, so... Can you put... What up risk? Oh, I guess you can only put the upgrades for the howitzer. And it doesn't matter, as you can see, my technicians and my drivers are in the Humvees themselves. I don't know which driver is better, I'm just so... I'm too lazy to check it out right now again. It's just a lot of management that I'll not be doing anyway. Also, I want an ATGM squad over here. I guess these are the best ones I have. Silver Killer, Power Lifter. Power Lifter is a good upgrade in my opinion, even though it only gives you one extra rocket. We we'll also need our expert infantry. Uh, I think the this machine gun is better than the plasma one because usually you will outrange the enemies and even hit some of the trucks. Otherwise, they'll just outrange you. I it does really. I don't really see the benefits of the plasma machine gun to be honest. Since the enemies will be using the same guns as you most of the times, so having to engage. At 110, while the enemy engages at 60, is seems like it's a huge benefit in my opinion. Here we have infantry. That's what we need. Oh yeah, that's why I put the engineers over here. We'll be using the engineers as well to lay down mines. Yes, we can use these guys. We'll be putting down a lot of mines in a lot of areas. Hopefully we also use a heavy squad just to garrison them in the building or something. That's a lot more ammo than I originally thought we could get. Yeah. Works for me. Deployed. Sir, yes sir. Ready for target. Even the shotguns are shooting at me. Oh, I managed to destroy everything. Okay, so let's save the game. And this is going to be a very, very long mission, sadly. I'm There's no way around it. The map is very small, but we'll have to do a lot of tasks. So the engineers will probably just go over here and put down 80 mines. This is where a lot of enemies will be coming from. Mine's going down. Setting up a missile site. Position reached. Position reached. Okay, where is a main building that is kind of like in the middle? Probably that building will have to be under our control. Also, I know that enemies will come from this area over here. Or let me see. Oh yeah, no, somewhere around that parking area. So we have three locations from over here, over here, and over here where enemies can come. What hit us? But head tank. That scared me. Attacking strange too. Only notices us when we attack it. Wait, what? Drivers Nice. Humvees on site. Moving. SCGM squad reporting. 
What a hit. Oh. Another missile. Okay, I guess that was easy. This is still. Wait, how did we hit this right with 280 gems? 280 gem strikes. I have no idea. Sometimes this game is weird. Ah, okay, save the game. These guys are putting down mines. Anti tank support inbound. Yeah, what is that wheel? Oh, it's from the tank. Reporting on our feet. Can only replace 280 gems missile. So from now on, we'll not shoot. Okay, I guess we can look. Wait, what is that? Okay, the platform will not shoot at us, maybe. I don't know why we fired at those guys. Need heavy support? Called for heavies? But I know we don't really have to do much over here. Just go and get the main building. There are also some vehicles we can definitely keep for ourselves in the mission. We just have to do a lot of other stuff in the meantime. Need heavy moving. On it. Yeah, as you saw, I played a little bit of the mission in the previous video. So nice to have 40 FPS in this game. Actually, I don't want to do much. I think in this phase of the game, nothing will attack us. So let's just lay down the mines and wait. Not sure if it's time based or what is the deal with the mission, but I want to have some defenses because they'll make us defend this area. I'm not sure if the small mines detonate the big mines either. It shouldn't be the case, but eh, you know, we'll try it like this. If it doesn't work, that means we made a mistake. On it, moving there. That seems like it's not such a good idea to put them down there. Oh. We'll get it done. Okay, we need to put down all of the mines. I guess you can bring two mining squads, but then we might not have enough to destroy the stuff that will be coming after us. I probably don't want to take over that building because if we take over it, we might have some surprises. Okay, they are done. Let's go over here. Heading there now. Engineers on route. I think this is the first time I see them firing their guns, or maybe the second time. I don't know. Usually they are in a building or in a truck. <laughs> Definitely, I would need to replay the entire game to have to make different choices and to level up different units or additionally the developers could just introduce a mechanic for you to level up your squads automatically by spending some goodwill points like i don't know 150 for the first level 200 for the next 250 for the other one it, it could work it's so deserted usually when you see ruins of a city you fight them. Out of the order, sir. On the move, sir. ATGM relocating. I can put ATGM squad in the trailer over here. It doesn't have any ammo, but it's a transport oh, method, so... Well... Oh, uh, I guess you have to bring your mine sweeper unit as well. Okay, that was a bad plan. We're evacuating everyone from this area. Also... I don't understand the rules. Can someone explain to me why he doesn't shoot his main ATGM at this thing, or why is it not ready to fire? Yes, he fires his Sam for whatever reason. Wait, what if we just destroy this before we go over there? Because that will sound or trigger an alarm. On the move, sir. Yes, sir. On the way. Platforms are up. Ready for target. Target destroyed. Reporting. ATGM relocated. Okay, nice. Uh, I don't know. This game has a lot of weird things. On route. 
guess you should destroy things as soon as you can. And over here it will be another strange sequence where we'll get attacked yes, when you get close enough. On the way. Proceeded. Yes, sir. Proceeded. Going. Moving. Proceeded. So you yes, probably sir. want to angle this Going. as much as Moving. you can like on the this. Move, Moving. On the... Ready for launch. Yes, sir. On the move, sir. On route. Yes, sir. On the way. Going. On the way. Wow, dodging missiles. On route. On the move, sir. Moving. On the move, sir. On the way. Yeah, definitely destroy everything you see. Probably we can destroy more before trigger. I don't. I don't know. I just want to finish the game and the mission. Right, if it continues like way. this. On the move, sir. On route. Not going to have fun. Against Legion and from our main force. Fall back. back. Regroup at the block to the north. That's our point to hold. To stop them cutting us off. Got enemy fire on our position. Yeah, don't even try to hold the buildings because they'll just annoy you with spiders all the time. Drivers reporting, sir. On the move, sir. Repairing. That is repairing. Repairs complete. Got it coming! Up and running again. Okay, now this is getting yes, serious. Tell Reed's good. Move, sir. We just need to hold on till they get here. Hmm, I guess I need to save over here as well. I cannot believe I'm playing this sequence of the mission for about 30 minutes already. I just get there ambushed or destroyed by drones, so I tried to defend over here, but they had the explosive drones coming from all sides and. That's not going to work. Yes, sir. Heavy squad. This is the range of this thing. Target inbound. Heavy taking fire. Enemy sighted. Can you attack that guy? Engineers under attack. I don't understand how the ATGM works. Why don't you fire when you see the target? Oh, look at that, look at that. It's flying. ATGM reports. Target destroyed. Reporting. Yes, sir. On route. You, you cannot play this as a strategy game. Wait. We'll need some wheels for that. Reinforcements are here. Yeah, you really have to play the game in advance on all of this stuff. I lost the mission about five times before I actually managed to get this sequence of events so destroy everything that moves around here and then also be prepared for the attack of the enemies and kind of disgusting how much meta game knowledge you need to know it's not a strategy game in strategy games you can adapt and become better not no, not here not here not here at all uh, i guess you also need to call in the striker that has the better crew it will be this guy look at this this is a great striker as it is Light vehicles. Well, I guess it's time to call one of the artillery platforms. And that's about it. I guess I can call another ATGM squad. Will it help? Not really. Because we don't have the supplies for them right now. Yeah, maybe it's time to call the one of these guys right now. That is still 80 range. I guess we need them just to make sure nothing surprises us again like that. I guess we can call another engineer squad. But where do I put the mines? I guess we don't have enough time to put the mines down anyway. No, I think we just need a sniper squad at this point. Yeah, let's call Kondo. Drivers reporting, sir. 
I guess you'll have to cover that area and from now you'll be two, you'll be one and you'll be covering the main entrance over here. Actually going to be a little easier since the toe will the toe on this thing will fire immediately. I just need to be better prepared. Okay, save the game, defend. Just follow the mission objectives. Don't don't be a hero. Don't do anything. If it says defend, defend. Riveting gameplay, isn't it? <laughs> I hear a stick falling, okay. This is terrible, terrible gameplay design. Oh well, I guess we can admire the beautiful destroy landscape. I guess this was a house. This would also make a good Fallout 4 game. Imagine that. I think I would, at this point I would rather have an RTS game set in the Fallout universe because it would really be a Fallout. You would be controlling, let's say, a vault sending out units and stuff like this. Oh no, I, I also have to disable the artillery. I don't want the artillery to shoot at a single unit like that. Guys are definitely not safe over there. Drivers reporting, sir. Yeah, I guess I have a decent defense perimeter over here. Anti tank support inbound. Setting up a missile site. Why am I even using the ATGM squad at this point? Good question. This is the big moment we are waiting for. Let these guys shine. Okay, the, the RNG in this game is so crazy. I played this particular sequence about 10 times already and mo in most of the sequences I lost because there's no way you can defend against MLRS from that distance just appearing from the side of the map. And they also destroy so much of my own forces to the point where I have. Wow, how, how, how do you miss that? Yeah, just retreat from this area. There's no way we can hold against that. Oh, they're still repairing the Humvee. How many of infantry under fire? The Got mother. one in our sights. Everywhere. Repent. Hmm. I guess we killed the RPG launcher guy. Yeah, no way I'm going to risk doing anything over About there. Time. Enemy sighted. Repair complete. Enemy broken. Shoot your sniper rifles. Why is this so hard? Can you even aim at that? Why are you not aiming at the spider? Yeah, this is what I was expecting. Driver team here. Let's take it for a ride. Drivers reporting, sir. I assume you cannot 
fire at the spider or it's not your okay this is another moment where you just have to save and reload because there's no way you're going to get out of this situation alive Game is a joke. I'm trying my best to make some good tactics, but because I put the mines over there instead of over here, I will need to restart the map. And there's no other way around it. This thing is sit a sitting duck just because look at how many soldiers just suddenly appear. So how many robots suddenly appeared on the map? Three squads. I couldn't see them before, but they just simply spawned probably around this area or even over here. They shouldn't have gotten so close with all of the infantry I have and all of the other units. Just luck based. The game is simply luck based. I don't know how else to tell you it. So sorry for spoiling your streams and hopes. It's luck based. In this situation where you don't really have a choice. Okay, yeah, that went well. Yeah, I should have put my infantry outside, I can admit that mistake. Start repairing that. Uh, I guess you're sitting okay. Now we just have to wait and hope for the best over here that my striker can defeat the ECHC platform. That will have to go behind the house. Okay, we defeated that. Thankfully. These guys will have to get them. How did you kill? How did they? What? With what did they kill the crew member over here? I have no idea how this game works anymore, and I I think the problem is that after. can understand that part over here. I think the problem is that after Fort Wolf, the game just takes a turn for the worst with... What are the orders, sir? Now we just have to wait over here and get shot. Spotted one. Rockets are ready. Take cover, Spark. Look at how many soldiers I lost. Without being able to do much. But you only lost the driver, but now you're immobilized. Enemies ahead. The little drones, okay. Looks like yeah, I had to keep my soldiers out, outside here. of the building. We managed to hold down for dear life. That was horrible. How are you supposed to defend against that? Yeah, you probably have to know to put 80 mines over here and over here. But why would you have a... This is... How can it be a strategic game if it's based on meta knowledge? Can you not shoot the dogs? You have sniper rifles, shoot the dogs. Nothing you can do if you don't hit your missiles or your other stuff over here. Nothing you can do. Hey, you're out of missiles anyway. Reserves like what are they going to do? You basically have nothing at this point of the game to offer as reserves. You're just going to bring in more. You're going to bring in more cannon fodder. 
Since everyone just attacks you at a very high range, here, yeah, bring more snipers. Those don't help at all. This more cannon fodder is the answer here. Where is the other ATGM squad? How do these guys have six ATGMs while these guys have three? Because they have the power lifter, so I didn't manage to upgrade any other squads. But this just makes it harder for me to control the units because now I've completely lost track of what I have over here. He completely retreat. The striker was abandoned. Drivers waiting on orders. Going. Enemy spotted. Don't let the strike alone. Engineers reporting. Enemy sighted. Drivers under fire. More enemies. Completely killed. Got company. Forming. Remember down, what? We see him ahead. Can you idiots just put down the stupid thing? I I told you ten times to deploy the mortar. Look at this. So you cannot deploy the mortar if you don't click over the right thing. And I think this is stupid. Oh they just are finding more and worse ways for me to get angry at the game. I also instantly killed a crew member over here with what? With what can they do that? Enemies ahead! Down to our last end! Gotta fight alone? Is there support there? Get out! Ah, oh, we'll need some wheels for that. No one pass! Enemies inbound! Losing heavy! On the way! Oh, right, right. So see, at some point I didn't have any other missiles shooting and now I have... Three missiles at the same time shooting the enemy. What a complete joke this game has become, especially after Fort Worth. They put you in so weird, so many weird situations, and then look, look at this nonsense. What is? How can you prevent that from happening? That's valuable ammo you're just wasting away. Fire! Yeah, I guess you just needed more ATGM squads, but good luck getting them. Even Kondo lost a crew member. City Jam is basically Going. useless. Going. Might as well just use that as a transport. Or I mean as a place to store my almost dead units. Pastor? Mumbles? I should have two artillery things shooting at the enemy and it's still not enough apparently. And how, do, how can you damage something behind the house? Yes. Put this over here for some support. I'm pretty sure this guy with the launcher will destroy the jeep. Let's see. Enemy fire. Enemy yeah, I was 100% sure that would happen. So I don't, I don't really understand this game. Why are the enemies outranging all of the things I have? My impossible to play in this situation. I mean. They should have killed, they should prioritize some targets at least, I don't know. That's no longer burning. Enemies ahead! Enemy sighted! We have the militia member down! Save the game. Why well, I'm saving so much the game and... Well, I guess I'm not really losing much either way, but it still feels like a stupid battle. It shouldn't be this hard.
Okay, retreat that. I guess the drivers. Oh, look at how good the drivers are over there. Fair. Legion units. They're not supposed to be here. Everyone said even the Y heads avoid this place. What's going on? There's gunfire. No. Countered in the repair. Control, scout the south part of the city. Entry points are two. Gotta hold it to keep in contact with our main force. Make it repair. It's over. Wow, that was weird and annoying. Hey, if I would have only known where to put my troops or where to put the mines, this would have been much easier. Canvi is combat ineffective, basically. I cannot use it for combat because it will run out of parts. Uh, still will have to remain over here. I cannot believe they actually were targeting this this platform over here. It should be super hard to target behind the lines like that, but I was wrong. Man, if they would have just given me a strong building or another medium building over there. Calling in my main four. I was reporting, sir. On the way. Going. Yes, sir. Yeah, we barely have any ammo left on these guys anyway. We'll have to remain in this situation over here. Oh, we survived that. I'm already tired of this mission and I don't like it. How? Wow, the other missions are so fun and so interesting, but this one just makes you want to... ...your head on the wall or something. Okay, so this is my dedicated tank killer. This is my beautiful Bradley over here. As for the armor transport... Well, I guess I have to bring in the dozer, even though it's not really recommended. But it's the only way I can kind of cheat the supply system by giving more ammo to all of my units. Especially the engineers will have more ammo if I bring it like that. And more light vehicles. Well, good luck with your light vehicles. Definitely we'll need the engineers again. We need two squads of engineers to simply put down mines. Well, I guess I also have these guys over here with mines so we have the te engineers and technician which can low which can put down a lot of mines okay what else can i use in this situation you're just going to get smashed in that point there's nothing to help you but the mines themselves i guess i can just put down more mines One of them, I also I wish you could just extract infantry at any time you want, because that infantry is just sitting over there in a truck. It's not doing anything. Yeah, we can use the infantry as well, and probably we can use these guys as well. Even though they're basically useless if you think about it, but I just want them for the C4 and maybe some of their other abilities. I also need my armor trailer to act basically as a field hospital. I think you should be able to reinforce some units in the field as well. It's kind of ridiculous that you cannot do that. Reporting. What you need. I'll be reporting, sir. Okay, so these guys will probably have have to be on seven over here. Where do I even put my resupply truck? I, I, there's no safe spot or safe location. 
Quick building, quick building. Come on, at least they could have made these two buildings over here medium. That would have... And that would have saved me from so much trouble. Yes, ATGM squad reporting. On a move. Guess I have to put them over here, exactly over here, so they can aim at that other area. Uh, sure, I guess these guys can more or less defend this area, even though I don't like the idea. You can put the artillery piece over there. We we'll just have to use the, this thing defensively over here and not even move it. Hmm. Okay. Also, the tank and the Bradley will have to be kind of like the main forces for now. Ready to go, sir. I have a bad feeling about this. I think I should just use the opportunity to mine the entire city at this point. Uh, two machine guns. Ah, these things are too strong to just leave them behind like this. They also have a lot of ammunition, so how much does a mine use? 20. So 320. So yeah, I guess we can just use the engineers to put down some mines over there. Ready. Okay, save the game. We'll save it over here. Use these guys over there to just go and clear up the land a little bit. Oh yeah. It's not going to work. It's not really that effective from what I can see. We'll get it done. What are the other technicians? The mine laying technicians. Putting down mines. I guess I can put some units in this building over here as well, but it's not going to work as a defensive structure because we're going to get attacked from all sides and if they attack you with stronger units than that, I defend myself. Hmm. Moving. Moving. Boys, These guys will just have to act as cannon fodder over there. It's kind of like a light defensive force. Already they are there with the... I hate this game so much. I hate it so, so sir. much. On the way. Yes, sir. As you can see, I have to plan to make a defensive perimeter and guess what happens? They just spawn another squad in the perfect position with a launcher. It just delay me even more. Maybe Legion units are attacking each other. Shit, that I'd love to see. Engineers reporting. This is the one with the launcher. Don't waste your powerful shots for that. At your eastern position. Okay, we have to go there. I make the Do I have any other mine laying units? No, not really. I guess we can if it's a cover squad. drop down over there. Please don't make me just micromanage because these guys you. don't want to leave the area. Not 
Okay, we managed to do that. So I guess this is kind of like a little bit of a mobile force over here that doesn't have much firepower. That would get smashed pretty easy. That is actually sitting in a super nice position over there. Uh, this toe over here. Sure. Sitting in the right position. Yeah, the toe will have to sit over here to be in a good position. Uh, Guess what? I want to deploy this, and the engineers will have to rearm. This Humvee, this, this Humvee is destroyed. Basically, just sitting over there. And seven will be kind of like a little bit of a mobile force that I'll be using to clear little incursions of enemies. And I have to scout that parking lot, of course. But I'll have to lay down the mines first of all. A joke. A bad joke. As you can see, the game pick again after we finish that stupid defensive mission. The game is much better now. So I see fuel and supply truck plus an abandoned heavy. Yeah, well, I guess that one was already destroyed. So we can bring another tank. I guess it will have to. Be. No, no, nah, let's bring Bob. Nugget Bradley is kind of a weak Bradley, I guess. As for the armor transport, I have nothing left. No armor transport left. Supply tracks. The hemp. Definitely bring the hacker squad and also the mountain guerrillas. For light vehicles, yeah, good luck with light vehicles as well. We don't have any of those either. I guess at this point I could also bring in the sniper teams. I'm not sure how much of a defensive perimeter I'll be able to make. One of them and... I want to take over the building in the middle of the map. I think that's a bad idea. I guess I can send the RPG squad plus one of the sniper squads and the heavy weapon squads to take it. Yeah, I guess I should have had more armor vehicles, but who knows these things? The blood will go over there, tank repair over there. Mines are being set. Like it's. Rockets are ready! Okay. Might as well put those guys over there and make them go over there. Oh, no, no, no. Get us moving! Yeah, Rilas will have to board it as well. Fire truck will have to be over there. Rocket squad. Now, how do I send these guys over the map like that? It's going to be super, super sketchy and risky. I'm just afraid I'll just send them over there and I'll just have to evacuate them later. That's why I'm so hesitant about this. As the enemy doesn't play fair at all, and I really want a lot of vision over this area, eh, I guess. On our way. That will have to do. Take us out. Wait a minute. Oh, don't do that. No, see, this is exactly what I thought would happen. They are just there to, uh, to make me destroy the vehicles. I'm not a fan of. Have units over there. Yeah, at this point it's just super hard to... Engineering squad reporting. To Load up. Control everything. Reporting. Get us moving. They go in there. Yes, 
Are you laying your minds? Yes. Yes. Everyone is doing their job. Their part. I guess we'll have to send them through there. Yeah, it's all about this very, very slow gameplay, but that's the pace you're supposed to play the game. Sharpshooter team. At this particular point of the game. Yeah, good luck. No, no one will go in that house. No problem. I guess we can send them over there. Maybe they'll shoot at the enemy, maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, what you needing? Yeah, and this has been the mission for about two hours already. Just laying down mines, finding mines and defusing mines. It's crazy how the game can be like this. Yeah, we didn't we didn't lay down a single mine but that's okay oh it's supposed to be over there I think oh no it's supposed to be over there and I think the Legion units are deactivated because they're just defending the place, even from other Legion units. So it's kind of like a secret project, I don't know. I've had line of sight on it by now. Okay, there it is. It has appeared. That means we have to go away. I guess it's just a, it's going to appear at out of the same spot every time. Shit! That is one big asshole of a wirehead. Hey, integrator. I guess we found what you're looking for. Yes. We did not expect it to be so large, though. So how do we deal with it? We are still collecting data on that problem. Airstrikes. Yeah. Well, I got an idea. Shoot it until it ain't a problem no more. They've activated. All those legion units are active. Picking up heavy traffic on local legion frequencies. Another one signal from the Well, I'll try to save some of the vehicles, but I don't think we'll do that. Got it. I think they're fighting the big thing, so let's let them fight the big thing for a while. That's big and annoying. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best way to deal with this joke of a mission, but let's just save over here and wait until it comes a little further. You don't want to fight it inside their base because then you have to defend it. I think it will just travel around the place until it arrives to this place and it will get attacked by the. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, not just you, everyone. Can destroy what? What? The joke? Oh, you destroyed the gun on someone else? Or what? What? what do you mean gun destroyed? Why is it not giving me the option? That's actually, he's doing the right thing. He's following me, as you can see it was injured a little bit. Oh man, I really wish they would... To be careful on that angle as well.
Oh, it's laying down smoke. I think we just need the uh, a resupply unit over here. It's making cow noises like the like the big things from uh, Metal Gear Solid. It's very well armed. Even its legs are numbered. Very cool design. I did send a supply truck to come over here. Oh, it already arrived. That's amazing. I was looking at it and it arrived. I guess it's a valid strategy after all. Yeah, let's just focus on destroying this thing. You also cannot go past and attack it on the south because that just means... Okay, we'll have to fight it in the minefield. Okay, so I guess you can kind of draw it out and then use the Bradleys to shoot it out of the... out of its legs. A valid strategy, I guess. Oh, really? Biggest thing you have on the screen. Okay, destroy the prototype one in Midland. We have done that. That was the biggest. What can I say? It was a little bit of a cheesy situation. Way would work. You're on a way to recover any data left in the destroyed position. They get here fast. Can't say how long we're gonna be able to hold this position. What are the old transport on the way? On route. Here where you need us. Also can access all of our reserves now, not that we have anything left. Oh, we do have some things we can use. Plus the artillery. Okay, full artillery. Yeah, that as well. Helicopter. More ammo stuff. I really dislike this part. Why would they make the missions like that? You For, for basically 90% of the mission, you fight with less than 50% of your forces. Then they just give, give you everything. Do you want to take everything with you? I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Ready in the air. Chopper is up. 
five. Sir, we're not driving. Snapper's loading. As a passenger, stop ready. Yeah, this would be a mess. I don't like. I don't know. It's so different from the other missions, but it's different in the bad way, not in the good way. Driver's reporting, sir. How many can we? Eight. Sir, driver's ready. Snappers reporting. Driver team here. Yes, sir. Anti-tank report. We're moving there. Snappers loading. We're not driving. Loading. Heavy armor in the corner. Order, sir. Moving there. I have to be careful this side Driver's doesn't get invaded. Sir. I also don't want to spend much time over there. Driver's reporting, sir. Reporting. That's the Bradley. This will be on zero. Yes, sir. Take the fuel there. Let's move. Um, yes. Ready for launch. Yeah. Rockets are ready. On the way. On the move. Rockets are ready. Drivers reporting, sir. On route. I have a bad feeling about this supply truck, but if we lose it, I don't care at this point that much about it. Oh, where is the Bradley? Yeah. Ah, Looks like the wireheads were just waiting for someone else to sort this shit out. We're not driving. We're not driving. Stop already. Hmm, so I guess this is basically nothing over there. Timar's awaiting strike orders, sir. Got it. Drivers waiting on orders. Well, there's no point in keeping it unpacked like that. Yes, sir. On the way. Reporting. This is going to hurt my brain, probably. The amount of management I'll have to do over here, so... I guess I'll try to do something super super sneaky. And already go with our plan. The helicopter can go over here and I hope can extract those vehicles. I mean, that's all, the, all I want from this mission. These guys will have to stop firing their toes. Big Bob reporting. Concentrate your forces on defending your engineering machine. Out of the driver's reporting, sir. Transport on the way. Oh, this was just kind of like a defensive unit. Okay, I get that. I thought that was going to be the whole thing, but no. No, uh, four will be my artillery. Artillery will be stationed over here. We get away after that. Okay, uh, I guess we'll have to keep these guys around over here to defend this location. These guys will be around here. Here, I have a bad feeling about this. Such a bad, bad feeling. Safe as a joke. We're on the way. Uh, I think those engineers are very safe over there. So, how many vehicles do we have over here? Five. We have three. Yes, 
Okay, get the big trucks first, I guess. What are you doing over there? You're supposed to come over here. Stop ready. Just give us the target. Snappers loading. I put ready to drive, sir. Drivers. Ready to drive, sir. Drivers. Okay, I guess this is the hardest part of the mission. There are still a lot of minefields over there, so we have to be careful about that as well. Let's go over there at this point. I mean, I have a perfect defensive perimeter, perimeter almost. Okay, that's better. We'll just have to save over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I cannot believe I am resorting to save scamming. It's the worst thing I it could happen to me in this game, but I'm not forced to use it. Game, and of course, the, it this works. You're supposed to do many things at the same time, and of course, you'll fail at many things at the same time. You're allowed to shoot two toes. We'll fix the road. There that, go there. Yes, you have to defend this area if that's the way it works. I would need also another vehicle over there, but good luck with that. Just, Where are we going? Already feel so bad about leaving. That vehicle over there. Stop, 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 stop. I guess it's all about leaving your troops on the road. Probably at some point they'll attack me from this part of the map as well. Do I care? Not really. Go over there. Oh, junkyard. Junkyard. The junkyard items. 
Yeah, move a little bit on the road over here, so we have more vision, because that's the problem, vision. Yeah, that, that was damaged already so easily. Oh, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, look at how you're supposed to play the game. It's incredible. Okay, calm down and let's play more. I mean, usually I make funny remarks and do more of the game itself, but it's ridiculous. It's a very easy mission, but it's just delayed by the fact you have to clear and create minefields. I'm not getting any info, any feedback on what's happening, who's firing at what. Feedback game, feedback. You know it. The chopper is very useful in this mission, apparently. This is the only game where five minutes can feel like five hours. I guess I didn't really need to put down so many minefields and prepare so much. Oh well. I spent a lot more time to do that and I didn't want to invest another 10 minutes in clearing the minefield. But because of that, now I'm forced to play in such a stupid way. Why do they send artillery? Can the game get more unfair than this? Let's go home. Yeah, just activate all your IT gems and we'll have to leave this we'll have to leave this game this map in a hurry. But now I think something will try and attack this through the back. to cover the flank over here. I really wish those toes would hit their target at least, at least 50% of the time. Stop moving, shoot. I'm pretty sure these guys are firing at the tank as well. Sometimes this is just too much time wasted. Nice. 
That guy is eating the shots like they're nothing. Okay, yeah, you really have to have a lot of Meta game knowledge for this one. Look at all of this stuff I have over here in the building and the little drones still manage to find a way to attack me. Wow. Wow, just wow. He have... Yeah, I needed that. A joke. A joke. A big, big joke. It's like the chopper saved our life over here many, many times. Man, artillery is the most useless thing in the game. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be aiming at at this point. Sharpshooter down. Give me something new. <laughs> yeah. Great, use right. that. Also, I don't understand why the blimp doesn't stay on the map. When you pause, it should pause everything if it pauses the game. Yeah, stupid game. Fire on the target. I must should attack that lo I don't know. I'm just so tired. This searching for an attack angle. This is so useless. It uses up so many supplies in it. I think I'm, I'm so done with the game and it's buggy stuff. Why is he not firing? It's perfectly in range. Forget about it. Just forget about it. It's useless. It's useless to try and use it. Mars is useless. I cannot believe they never really tested it out. It says fire all of the weapons. Good luck doing that. Barely, this game is barely functioning after you reach a certain point. Give the game a little bit over here. I can deal with the artillery, it's not such a good thing. The Hymars finally decided to fire. <laughs> What's wrong with this thing? I didn't even give it order to fire. Really game, really, 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 really annoying, okay. Get those things over there, what even damaged this thing Driver, over yes. here? Good luck finding out. Yes, sir. And why are the, why is Martillus not even firing? Land out. Do it 
Look at this. Look at this. Do I have to do anything else right now? Please. Just tell me I'm done with it. I am done with the game. Oh no, no, please, 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 no, 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 another circle mini game. Do I have to find another red thing on the floor and press it? Please, game. <laughs> How do you make it leave? Just let me control it. So take printed. I'm looking at this thing. Now retreat. Although the route you took into the city is now cut off. We are consuming legion sensors with false target signals. But this will only be effective for a limited time. We're Dopper has eyes on him. So this means you can finally leave. But I don't think they'll stop attacking you. I think this just means they'll stop attacking you for a little while. And that means not spawning units, but they'll attack you whatever they have, okay. Okay, before we have a heart attack over here, okay, we're done, we have to leave this place as fast as possible. Also notice that this thing was preparing to shoot again, don't do that. Over there, there was, there is still so much infantry over here. Put everything on the streets because I have a feeling we'll get attacked by something really annoying. Let's go. So I really wish you had default stuff in this game. Like infantry should always be by default on spread out position. I don't see a reason for it to be on anything else. You cannot live until you destroy that. Okay, and this will be kind of like the baseline save file for me. It still keep firing. It still fires its missiles. There's no way to cancel it. Can you cancel it somehow? Can you cancel it? Yeah, okay, just evacuate the building. I have no idea what that artillery is. Transporter ready, sir. On the way. And I'm out of time to figure out what it is. Much out of tow missiles. It says it's over there. It should be a perfect hit on the enemy. If it's there, but the game is a joke and it's not a perfect hit on the enemy, judging by the way it's showing me. Also, I have no, don't remember which part of the minefield I cleared. Enemy forces. Enemy Got trouble. Those things are still alive, how is that possible? Oh boy, oh boy, okay, let's get through this. Peacefully. I really wish this game was just a little better, just a little bit better. But what is running out of fuel? The fuel truck is running out of fuel. Reporting. 
guys need to evacuate. I thought I gave it order to move as well. The gems are flying, but I just cannot hit the thing. I really dislike some of some of the many mechanics of the game. It had a nice crunch to it, but it didn't work. Also, is anyone noticing that my artillery is not firing at this thing? I don't. I don't understand this. Artillery should be firing at the enemies wherever they are. What are the orders, sir? Getting it back up, sir. Humvee making repairs. Not even trying to hit them. On platform operation. We're taking hits. We are getting picked off. Trucks ready to ride again. Drivers waiting on orders. Get down. All fixed. Out of missiles. On the move. SDGM reports. Target destroyed. Destroyed already. They're out of ammo. Really, they're out of ammo and they haven't destroyed it. I just cannot do it anymore. I just cannot play this game anymore. It's hard to keep track of everything, especially when everything is not to, as it should be. Yes, sir. Man, the HIMARS has really shown me how useless it is. These two Humvees get sir. that one. Drivers reporting, sir. Okay, we have all of the... Wait. Oh, I got an extra platform at some point. I doubt they have any targets. Yeah, it's impossible to control. Yeah. Sure, why not? By the way, don't go through here because even though I cleared all of the mine from that area, I still think there are some enemies. And all of the mine laying I did was useless. I think this thing is still trying to fire, the high marsh is still trying to fire at an enemy. Remarkable dedication. Now, please, no more nonsense game. Just, just quit it. Just a spider. Oh, but it's a spider, and this is my striker. Just move everything, everything. Yeah, I was so happy with the missions. I mean, at the end of the, each mission, as you saw, I showed you all of the vehicles I had acquired. But now, that's 
never going to happen because everything is timed, it's based on... Oh wow, still trying to get me. What an absolutely, completely irredeemable joke of a game! Look at that, they just spawn, when you're finished near your extract, they spawn a tank, a platform... Uh, Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's repaired. There's no way I'm going to play 30 more minutes of this pure bullshit. Pure nonsense. I cannot describe it in any words. Why is this thing not firing? Just have a dueling match with that guy, I don't care. Absolutely incredibly. Finish the mission. The game says no, no. Let's play another 10 minutes of the mission. Yeah, let's just put everything that is the worst thing to defend in your face. Let's see how you handle it. Oh, no, thank you. Do we have to land to exit it? No? It's really testing me. This game is really testing my patience. Why the developers know this? They completely know what will happen. Just withdraw everything. It's so annoying. Look at all of this nonsense over here. Where is my fuel truck? Give it another try, but really. Yeah, you'd have to set up a mobile base over here in order to extract. No, no, thank you. I won the mission now. Let me let me leave this stupid game. Do you hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of a lot of enemies coming to kill us. Ando is on the f on foot on his own. So much grief. Here they come. So that was the light attack again. This was the light attack. Imagine how the the big attack is. Oh, I cannot believe this game. So much fun in the beginning, so many interesting options, so much to do in the beginning, and in the final missions they just ruin everything. Yeah, next time I should put mines over there, but they're just sitting still until we get to this point. Again... Gotcha. Pick up the 
Think about it. If they stand still over there, they will not explode when they spawn, and they'll just wait for you to arrive here and then shoot you. And you are yeah, running away. Yes. Thank you. You will be rewarded for your help. Yeah. Thank when? you. They will be waiting for you at our settlement with our trade delegate. One hour. So this mission was only one hour. Well, at least they didn't have over 100 vehicles sending. I mean, it. The mission is better than um, Fort Worth for sure because in Fort Worth I. I killed so many vehicles, I was getting so tired of it. You have fulfilled the terms of our deal and delivered the digital storm to us. We are now transferring the electronic warfare system to you. Our business together is concluded. The digital storm? What is it? That information was not part of the deal. You can stay if you wish to trade. Otherwise, leave now. Friendly assholes, ain't they? Wait. You gave those freaks something more powerful than the thing they gave you? Way to go, Troublemaker. We needed that system. Now we got it. But whatever the integrators have now is even better. You think we could use it for the Galveston mission? You mean take it back off them? That's exactly what I mean. Think about it, okay? You need me, I'll be around those freaks camp. Okay, so I guess the idea is that you need the jamming system. Good thing I... You need a jamming system, but you can also get the digital storm, which would be a much better option for you. In case you want to do it. Nice. Makes sense. I guess it makes sense that you can basically steal the the jamming device and leave. Get the jamming device as a reward. Or even get a digital storm. As a reward. But... Or, oh yeah, there it is. So as you can see, you can get the real cannon after the final mission over here. It's kind of well hidden, so 100%. Uh, let me show you how to do it. With the game, of course. Most people would look over this and not even blink. Just a little bit. So you take it like that. It like that, and then you just sell the platform back. So now we have the real cannon. You cannot get it any other way. So you can get it and still get the digital storm. So you can basically get it either on the Sherman, which is trash because the Sherman is so bad at his job, or you can just get it over here after helping them with Midland and getting the real cannon from here. Also, you get everything you need. I should also put ceramic armor on every Abrams because the Abrams. Basically, ceramic armor is the same as junk when it comes to defending against ballistic. It's only slightly better against ballistic stuff, but might as well buy it. Not sure, did we get a lot of supply points? Probably, maybe, who knows. That's why I struggle so much, because I wanted a lot of other stuff so I can do the rest. So we should probably put it on a tank that... That has a rate of fire increase, otherwise... <laughs> will fire super slow. Yes, let's look at it. Also the APS system. You don't seem to get another APS system, so you only get two of those. Ten shots. That's quite expensive. But I guess it's not so expensive. It's 120 range. I guess it's the same range as the other ones. Yeah, it's the same range as the other ones. Look at this beautiful monster right now. Oh, you... You don't even get two tiles of ceramic armor. I guess that's okay. So yeah, I guess at this point you should have at least three tanks because one of them will have the thingy. What else do they have to sell me over here? I guess not much at this point of the game. It's kind of late into the game. Oh, Abrams tank engine boost. Wait, does this one have the tank engine boost? Yes, it has. Yeah. We also have the boost and the engine boost for these things. Nice, we have two of them with two of those.
we have those as well by the way as you can see this one is kind of smashed already so you're supposed to repair it that's why it's super slow in the mission because it's weathered or something like that i don't know there's a interesting mechanic related to the weathered system of vehicles but i never really got into it and i don't care about it it's just that the vehicle will be slower inside the mission or uh, it's worse in the mission and then you can repair it and it will be the same as the other ones yeah take that as well i guess i can also use an apc probably at this point of the game you should also use apcs since they can get ceramic armor and yeah, we'll have to give them another energy gun. And we don't really get more heavy mach energy machine gun or plasma machine guns at this point of the game. I don't understand why it seems like the game becomes so restrictive at the end where it's, where it's supposed to be the most fun. Does this thing have an engine boost? Yeah, it does. <laughs> so yeah, definitely get one of the APCs for the final mission because... The, striker, uh, the strikers are good, but this one can get the fancy armor. Let's see how it looks. Oh, yeah. This looks very, very futuristic. So, at this point, the APC will become better than the striker, but I don't know. Just a lot of switching around that probably people don't want to do. Supplies, buy wise. Yeah, we can still buy a lot of supplies. And we still have one more mission to do. I will also do that mission, but I just did the interesting stuff. Next time we'll do the boring stuff. Bye-bye.